Hello and welcome back guys, I am One-Eyed Sniper. Uh, this will be episode 22 of Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin. Uh, in the last episode we got through just the very beginning parts of the uh, Iron Keep. Uh, we had a little cliffhanger ending as I stopped right before we go through this fog wall, so we're going to jump right into that. Um, before I do, I'm, though, I'm going to human effigy up here. Um, I have never defeated this boss without at least a player summon. Um, so I'm going to try it without it, but I am going to take Luke Teal. I don't know if this will be our third or fourth fight with her, I'm not sure. Um, I know we we need three, but I'm going to take her, hopefully she lives. Uh, hopefully this guy over here doesn't shoot me. He's going to try, but... So we'll bring in Luke Teal Amira, see if she can help a little bit. Uh, fortunately for me, like I said, I have faced this boss before, so I kind of know what to expect. So I will be flash sweating here. Um, I don't think we've read that one, so real quick. I'll just cover that one. A pyromancy that internalizes the power of flame. Sweat profusely, reducing fire damage. Most useful when facing other flame manipulating pyromancers. Just don't take the looks you get, personally. So yeah, basically we just sweat a lot. Uh, let me change out this ridiculous hat here. Back to our hunter's hat. And let's, uh, let's do this. And there he is. Smelter Demon. And he's no joke. Though he will be... Considerably easier uh, since I have Lucatiel, but it's gonna it's gonna flame up there. Flaming up once more. Luke Teal's just standing there taking damage. It's good. I didn't mean to do that, but so it'll be good to. That's what I get for not paying attention. Flash sweat probably helped us out there a little bit, so. Those were some of the best rolls I've ever done in my life. Bet I couldn't replicate it. Now that explosion kind of hurts. Get out of the way here. I don't know if Lucatiel is going to make it. Uh, just, just going to get lucky. Come on. One more. Take that, Smelter Demon. Thank you, Lucatiel. You survived. So hopefully you guys don't judge me too much for having the uh, NPC Phantom with me, but that guy is just just a dick, and it's hard. Nice job, thanks. I'll rate that one up. Hiding place and then tears. Okay. what we got here. Hurrah for trap. Uh, 
Ah, no trap. Porcine shield and a flame butterfly. So I don't quite understand the porcine shield. That must be like an inside joke. Um, but here it is. A strangely porcine shield. The pig head looks eerily authentic, but is an imitation. Though the shield's defensive capacity is ordinary, it may spook an unsuspecting foe. Um, the defensive capacity sucks. But... You know, uh, let's see if we can actually just take a better look at it. So yeah, there it is, a pig shield in all its glory. So we get out bonfire, which we're definitely going to rest at. My sword is pretty close to breaking. And there's actually something I do want to try out. I do like my katana. Um, but I picked this up in the Earthen Peak. Uh, I think I already showed it to you guys. But I, I, while I was waiting for to get summoned in one of the last times for the, the Belfry, Belfry Luna, I just played around with it. It's the Silver Black Spear. Um, I kind of want to check it out with... See what it takes to, to level up. I mean, if it takes uh, Twinkling Titan, I'll leave it alone. But... It's doing dark damage. I should have a decent dark bonus because of my um, having both intelligence and faith. Um, it is a spear, but it, the move set on it, it, it's got a little bit of a different one. So it does your, your basic stabs, of course. Uh, but then the strong attack has a, a swing on it. So it, it does cover some... Having a wide arc is always a good thing. So it's got that attached to it. Um, the strong attack does too or the two-handed. So I think this is something I want to try out. So I'm going to head back to McDuff. I want to see what uh, what it'll take to just upgrade it. Maybe this will be a weapon uh, I use for a little bit, or even as a backup in case the katana starts uh, breaking on me. So first thing I'll do is head to McDuff and look at it there. Also, this is another one I'm not sure if I can imbue stuff on top of it because it's already got dark damage, but... I owe perfection flame. So just to take regular Titanite, which is good. Scaling on it's not all that great, but then I don't have all that great of stats, so I'm really not too concerned uh, with it. Let me see if I can imbue anything on top of it, or infuse. So you can, and it'll uh, it'll give you both lightning and dark damage. So it reduces the dark, adds lightning on top. Or I could just go pure dark damage on it. Uh, that would raise it up slightly. So this is something I want to play around with. I don't have a bolt stone. But let me just spend some money and upgrade it now and see what we got. See what it ends up looking like. I think McDuff here sells some large Titanite, so... Okay, so I don't want to use the chunks on it just yet. Let's see if I can get an idea how it compares to our Katana with... Our Katana's plus eight. This thing is plus six. So let's see. Well, if we add two more levels into it, I don't know if it'll make up the gap there of we're down by 57. I don't know if it'll quite make that gap up. I have the chunks and I can always get more. So yeah, screw it. Let's just let's just see. So 
So it still is doing less uh, by about 26. So I do want to put lightning on top of it too, I think. Um, that may just even out though on its own by reducing the other stuff. And does it let's see if it weighs less? So it does weigh a pound more. It's not going to affect me too much now. So I'm going to head over to the Blue Sentinels area. We'll buy a bolt stone, and I'll see what that does for us too. Now just experiment a little. Uh, try something different. I don't like to be pinned down to one, like, weapon the whole time. But we'll just see. See how it works. You are a... W Do you rescind your ways and seek... Oh, crap, I forgot about that. Uh... Yeah, sure, I don't have any enough levels in any of them to matter. I'll just rejoin the... I'll keep recovering it later. Proud Oops, night. no, I don't we want to talk to you. Never... Pursue your work, yep, thanks, buddy. Back to Macduff. Yeah, I really hope this works out, or this isn't too much of a difference, so damage wise. So we'll get sixty. Lightning and 90 dark damage. What are we getting on our thing here? 144 lightning. So actually that'll give us... So it gives 150 additional damage there. Uh, let's see, this is 135, that's 144. So it might kind of even out. Uh, but let's do it. Let's see what our result is. So actually we came out on the positive by just 18. Um, I'll take it. Uh, we'll see if I do any, you know, if I end up sucking with it, um, I'll probably have to change back. But, but yeah, I'm kind of excited to try out something new. Uh, let's go talk to the Emerald Herald and then we'll continue on through I keep. Bearer of seek lest. Oh, so I, I'm hesitant to put more into a tomb because I don't really have a lot of spells I want to use. So. I'll just stick with. We'll do faith. Yeah, I'll just go a couple into faith. Yep, yeah, that'll work. Yeah, I'm just curious what she sells now, if anything. I've only one thing to provide, and we put. So she's still selling garbage. Uh, all right. No interest. Yeah, yeah. And let's see if I picked up a fire seed at all. I didn't, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay, so let's go to the Iron Keep. So I kind of want to say our old buddy, the... Uh, Sewer shows up again here. It does. Hopefully we don't attract that knight in there. Let's 
definitely different. That I'll have to get used to. Oh, I'm having some stamina issues. Kind of close, actually. So I think because some of the damage we're doing is dark, uh, this guy's probably defending against that. So for the pursuer, it might not have been a good idea. <laughs> but that's fine. Hopefully we'll hit him with some combustion a couple times. Try to be careful to fight him on this side of the room because I, I don't want to bring in that Alon Knight Captain over there. Come on, man. Do a charge or something. There you go. Got a little bit stronger. Oh, that was a bad roll. I should be ashamed of myself for that one. But this works out for me. So my first round with the spear, not excellent. I'm going to go back to my katana just for this guy. It's maybe one of those things where I equip both. I can handle the weight. And... I don't know. I can't really base it off of one fight. Um, so I th he does dark damage, so I'm assuming he's got some dark defense. But Sorry, we're not worried about him. Probably doing strong attacks on him instead of just the normal swings. getting lucky with some of my rolls here. Or maybe I'm getting better. Eh, who knows.
Alright. That's the last time I know of that we fight him. But, uh, he may come back again. Uh, Ring of Blades plus one, that just makes us do more damage, so... That is good. And honestly, I'm gonna take that over <coughs> our spell ring, because... It's a Pyromats, you don't really cast that much, so... I got my measly 806 souls back, we'll rest at the bonfire and... Press forward. Get our humanity back here. Yeah, I'm still kind of learning how to finesse it a little bit. Hopefully I can get just the one. Well, that did some... That did some work right there. I'm going to have to learn the timing a little better. So I've got plenty of that Alon Knight Armor. Hopefully we run into uh, Gavlan. We can wheel and deal a little bit. Uh, if that guy continues on, he just knocks that piece down. It's not that big of a deal to jump over it. That's just working out pretty good for these guys, at least. I don't know what this does. It's going to drop that guy into the lava, apparently. Ow! Did not expect that. I don't know if Flame Swat's going to be enough to take him. Uh, I should have some kind of throwing knife here. Oh, well, I'll just use the poison one. It's kind of a waste, but whatever. So I'll have to play with this a little bit to figure out exactly what it does. Cause I don't remember. I know it lowered the platform, but to what end, I don't know. I think it may make it to where you can reach that ladder over there, but it's not important right now. It's got another Pharos Lockstone. This one I will use. Let's see what this says. Try key and bonfire head. That is true. Recklessness. I think we're okay here. Thunder Quartz Ring plus one. I imagine it just defends against lightning. Yeah, a ring bestowed upon students of a certain standard at the Melfian Magic Academy. Its lightning quartz increases lightning defense. Uh, then talks about pyromancy glock and pyromancer glocking again. 
So it may seem kind of dumb to have a bonfire right here next to the other bonfire, but this is a covenant area for our um, for Belfry's soul, which is the Bellkeeper Covenant. Um, which I'll go ahead and join back up here again, and we'll run through it. This one's actually kind of quick, depending on how the invasions go. I'll talk to this little guy. Yep. I actually like these little guys. Well, the ones to talk to. Very jolly. I don't know if this one has anything to say other than... Okay, rusted coins are good. I forgot I had those. I think that's... Uh, I don't know if we ranked up in the Covenant for just taking out at least one invasion. Uh, invader. I'm not sure. That might be what we got for that. So the other bell tower, Belfry Luna, would be uh, at least the bell the princess has. I don't know if it's considered the princess's bell or not. I'm not sure if they traded bells or whatnot. Um, but this is the one that the prince is controlling. Um, they gave different names for the areas uh, that, that, than I've heard before. I mean, we just know them as the Lost Bastille and then Iron Keep, but... Yeah, so Vin and Alkin. Uh, I'm not sure if that gets any uh, verification later or not, but let's head on in. So I said, even though we're a member of the Covenant, we can still be invaded here. And we most certainly will be, I'm just sure. She ran right into that one. Oh, that was just an NPC. That was not a human. This little guy's got some fire. Ah! And he hurts. I really want my that's this flask here. I think I can get away with it. Die, you little stupid thing. Another bellkeeper shield. Where's this guy with the great sword at? Where'd he go? Yeah, over here, buddy. Come on. So that will be a player invader. So sometimes they wait for you up top. Yeah, he's up there. Probably doesn't think we saw him. Oh, well, he doesn't care. So hopefully he comes down because there's enemies up there I don't want to fight. Or he's hiding behind that. Okay, here he comes. And he waved back, so that's nice. Alright, I'll bow to. You better not stick me in the face. Okay. Let's go. 
got a great shield on him. Oh, that's not good at all. So with the spear, most people don't expect the uh, swi swipe coming. Didn't work for me though, but... And I think he's coming up behind me. Yep. <laughs> and let's just do that. I might live enough. Nope. Well, it was a valiant attempt. The guy with the big club was just... Yeah. Dominate me. Alright, so no biggie. We'll start back out at the bonfire and make another run at it. Uh, I'll go human again and then I'll probably summon that shade right away. Just for a little backup. And actually, if there's another human around, I'll... Whoops. I'll take him. Alright. Let's get an effigy in here. Don't see any player. Here we go. Here's a player sign. Ah, oh, he's gone. Well, that's. It's not very handy. I don't really want to wait around for one. That's just a recipe for disaster. I thought I heard one getting put down, but I didn't. I'll just take this guy, I guess. If anything, he's a distraction. Hello. Oh, if I had bought one of those rocks to say hello, that's what Drifter Swordsman Idel used. That's what it sounds like if you hadn't heard it. Some simpleton spice. And this should ring the bell. Move. NPCs are the worst sometimes. Alright, there we go. So until you ring that, there's a gate on the other end that's closed. So once you ring that, it actually opens it. And I imagine we're going to get invaded here pretty quick. Let's see if there's anything else down here. Like we're good. Oh. Figured I got him, might as well use him. I realized I hadn't actually used the whole move set yet. That rolling one's not bad either. Yeah, that one's okay. Some simpleton spice. All right, we are done here. Thank you, Idel.
So unlike the last one, we don't have any major pain in the ass boss here at the end. Immolation. Uh, that is a pyromancy that I believe sets you on fire. Uh, I've never felt like it would be anything useful. But a pyromancy that creates a coating of flame allowing the caster to incinerate nearby foes. Needless to say, this is a perilous spell that burns the caster while active. If a person is truly desirous of something, perhaps being set on fire does not seem so bad. Eh. But yeah, basically you just have to be really close to whoever you're fighting and they take damage. Um, probably more damage than you take, but probably not that good. Uh, human effigy and a triclops snake troaches. So triclops, that makes me think maybe it'll defend against three different things. But I don't know. Oh, temporarily boost petrify, 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 petrify resist. Troaches that exude the scent of rust temporarily boost petrify resist. Uh, and then it talks about Saint Elizabeth again. That guy's full of crap. Yeah. Alright, that we're done in there, and that will do it for this video, guys. I appreciate you watching, and I will definitely see you next time. Peace out.